<laughs> so, um, I just got back from my Disney vacation. I'll talk more about that in a little bit. Um, let me start out with my statistics as of right now. So I am currently a hundred. I have my notes written on this box right here. <laughs> I'm 140 days post-op. Um, my current weight is 264.8 pounds. And so far I have lost 81 pounds. My starting weight was 345 pounds, and my surgery weight was uh, 327 pounds. So I'm, I think I'm doing, you know, so that's a, a it's about uh, roughly four and a half months, basically, since my surgery date. I saw um, Dr. Weiner, and um, he's a very, very nice guy. First time I ever met him. Um, he said I was doing great. At that point, I had lost about 75 pounds. And um, he said that that was probably in his guest, in him guessing in his experience that I was about halfway to my goal weight. So he thinks I'll be in the 190s, 195 maybe, um, as my set point, which is what he refers to as a goal weight. Um, so set point... You have to go to his website, or actually his YouTube channel, Dr. Weiner. Um, he talks about set point. Um, basically, it's where your body naturally wants to be. So he thinks I'm halfway there in his experience. Um, I had a wonderful chat with him. He wants me to start taking yoga classes. But three days after I saw him, I went on a vacation to Florida. Um, I, I live in Arizona. Um, and, uh, we went on a Disney cruise, the Western Caribbean, went to Cozumel, Jamaica, uh, no, actually it was Cozumel, Grand Cayman, Jamaica, and then, uh, Castaway Key, which is Disney's private island in the Bahamas. Uh, so seven nights, it was amazing. Um, oh, I'll have to pause. I'm back. <laughs> I had, uh, some family stop by, so I had to take a little break. Okay, so... I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, yes, Dr. Weiner. Um, Dr. Weiner wants me to start taking... Oh, I put my hair in a ponytail, too. Uh, um, he wants me to start taking yoga classes. So we went on vacation. Um, it is now December 5th. And um, got back couple days ago from vacation, I'm still in a mountain of laundry. Um, we were on vacation for almost two weeks, not quite two weeks. And so there's a lot of laundry to do, a lot of catching up to do. Um, still haven't gone back to work. Still have uh, work stuff to do, catch up on. And then while I was gone, my Bariatric Pal subscription box came in. And as you know, it is, this is, not sponsored. I paid for a one year subscription of the Bariatric Pal Box because I thought it would just be a good way to find um, products that um, have that are bariatric friendly. Um, and uh, so my box came in and um, I just want to show you this. They sent me this and it said free sample. I guess this is not part of the box, but they decided to send it to me anyway. And um, I've had this in a box in the past. I don't think I had the fettuccine. I think I had uh, different noodles, but um, I love them. They're so good. Um, great substitute for, um, they have great substitute for noodles. They are shirataki noodles and they have oat and soybean fiber in them. And this particular one does. And um, it's low carb, it's basically no carb, actually. Um, well, there's three carbohydrates in this. Uh, half a package is 15 calories. You can eat, if you can eat the whole package, the whole package is 30 calories. So it's like, compared to pasta, it's a no-brainer. There's no protein in this. So um, I would, what I do is I add like ground um, turkey or pork sausage to my sauce to get the protein. 
So if you are in a in a craving for pasta, this is a great substitute. Um, so yeah, that was an addition that they sent, a bonus. Um, and as they always do, they send the sheet with all of the explanation of what there is in the box. And I don't think, yeah, the mushrooms are not listed on here. So that was definitely a bonus or it would be printed on here. And then they always send a sample menu for two days so that you can use up all your products in two days if you want to. I usually don't. I usually kind of just pull it out whenever I feel like it. Um, so I thought I would just go through the box. Um, the first thing they sent was some prepackaged food. Pasta fagioli. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, or turkey chili. So actually this, I'm thinking turkey chili. Have you ever had Cincinnati's spaghetti? I'm thinking turkey chili on top of the mushrooms that this might be a really good dinner. Might have to try that tonight. Um, this already has pasta. It looks like little cut up penne pasta. Let me go through the uh, stats on this. This has 13 grams of protein. It's 200 calories, so it doesn't quite hit the 10% rule. If you don't know what the 10% rule is, so my dietitian put me on a, what when you're reading labels, there's a 10% rule. So your protein needs to be more, so if your protein should be 10% or higher from the calories, so this actually should be 20 grams of protein if it was a really good choice. This is 13 grams. So it's, this is, I only have one, but it would be like in a special occasion. And then the total carbohydrates in this, let's see, is 26, but the fiber is five. So that's 21 grams, which is very close to the 10% rule because your carbohydrates should not exceed 10% of the calories. So your protein, you want 10% or higher. Your carbohydrates need to be 10% or lower. So this is not really part of that rule, but it would be an exception. Like it would be a special treat is what I would say. It's not something you want to eat every day. Um, this one is chickpea snack cinnamon crunch. I do like my, my beans. So I will definitely try this one out and I love cinnamon. So this one, is uh, there's five servings a quarter cup is a serving 120 calories five grams of protein and 20 grams of carbohydrates but with the fiber that drops it down to 14 which also doesn't quite hit it but it's pretty close pretty close to the 10 percent rule um the next thing is uh Olives. I happen to love olives. Black olives, green olives. I love olives. Uh, ooh, this is small. No protein in here. But these would be a good snack, especially to throw in your bag. Uh, looks like there says there's two servings per container. It doesn't say how many olives are in here. So um, calorie wise, they're 25 calories. Um, three grams of, 25 calories, three grams of fat. So this would be a, a good little snack, not a protein snack, but it would be a great little snack to throw in your purse. Built Bar, I happen to love Built Bars. I have a bunch of them in my fridge. I keep them in the bottom drawer of my second refrigerator and I have all the different flavors. Um, Mint Brownie Delight is definitely a good one, especially around Christmas time. And this one is great protein. This is 110 calories, 15 grams of protein, and I don't know what the carbs are, but let me open. Let me. It's always, they always, when it's a bar, they always hide the nutritional information. All right. Carbohydrates 14 grams, but it's the erythritol fiber. So net would be five net grams of, uh, net grams is five carbs. So this is a very healthy protein if you um, are not on a liquid diet. Uh, ha. I don't do coffee. 
my cat just brought me her toy. My cat's name is Rena, and this is her favorite toy, and she always likes to bring it to me whenever she feels like it's time to play. Um, but I'll, let me tell you about this. I don't drink this. I'll probably pass this on to somebody who I know does drink coffee. This is 20 grams of protein, five carbohydrates, and 130 calories. This would be great for um, caffeine, though. I'm wondering about caffeine. If you are like me and you're not supposed to have caffeine. This does not say. Oh, 150 gram, milligrams of caffeine. So I'm not supposed to have caffeine because that dehydrates you. And yeah, so I'll probably pass that on to somebody who likes coffee and is not a bariatric patient. Um, this is a Bariatric Pal product. It's a power shot of cran grape protein. This is 100 calories, one total carb, and 25 grams of protein. This is a great thing to also, like if you're going over to somebody's place and you don't know if they're going to have the right protein that you can actually eat, this is a good one to have around. I pour it over ice because I like my stuff cold. I also like my stuff hot. <laughs> um, confetti in here. They always put a lot of confetti in the box. So these are Quest protein cookies, soft and chewy cookies. You can see this stuff right there. 15 grams of protein, four net carbs, and nine grams of fiber. What are the calories? 250 calories. Does not follow the 10% rule, but this would be a special treat. And again, 240 calories and 15 grams of protein. Again, a special treat, not something you want to eat every day. Um, and the last thing in the box is holiday bites. Oh, these look cute. Looks like Peppermint Crush. No sugar alcohol, low sugar, high protein, no trans fat, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial sweeteners, and it's gluten-free. Again, they are hiding the nutritional label with their packaging. Let me flip this over. Okay, 90 calories, eight grams of protein, and seven net carbs. Again, this would be it. This would be nice to have when everybody else is having milk and cookies. You can have this with um, with the um, protein, a high protein milk. I'm lactose free, so I do lactose free milk. Or you can do it with a, don't get into your protein shake. All right. That's it for this month's box. What other things should I tell you about that's been going on? I feel great. I'm definitely losing weight. I always can see I have a, starting to get some loose skin and the chub around my face is going. Arms are starting to get a little wobbly. Um, but... I'm happy, I'm doing great and I uh, feel great. Uh, I have lots of energy and uh, just trying to get back in the groove from being on vacation. That cruise was amazing. If you ever get a chance to go on a Disney cruise, highly recommend it. <laughs> and uh, let's see, as far as a bariatric patient being on the cruise, let me tell you, I was frightened. I was frightened that I wasn't gonna get enough water I was frightened I wasn't gonna get enough protein, and I was frightened that I wasn't gonna lose any weight. Well, none of that happened. <laughs> uh, I lost four and a half pounds while I was on vacation, uh, which is amazing to me that I was able to buckle my seatbelt on the plane without asking for an extender, which I teared up. <laughs> when I did, when that happened. So uh, it's two flights from here to T Tucson to Dallas, Dallas to Orlando. And uh, yeah, it felt good to f 
feel comfortable in an airplane seat. Um, while I was on the ship, I did pre-order 24 bottles of bottled water to be delivered to my room. It was quite expensive, but I wanted to make sure that, and they were 20 ounce bottles. I wanted to make sure that I was getting enough water. Um, they have water fountains, but like you can get, they have water fountains in the buffet area and they have water fountains by the pool. They have like a whole like water station on what, both ends, both sides of the pool. So you can get water, it's not a problem, but um, the cups are really small and I wasn't sure how small they would be. Um, they were, I think they were like maybe eight to nine ounce cups. Um, but having those water bottles was just really nice to be able to measure my water. Um, so I did, I was able to get my water in every day. I was averaging 14,000 steps a day, which is amazing for me because I'm usually struggling to get my 10,000 steps in. Um, and it was like no effort and tried to use the stairs whenever possible, unless my knee was hurting because of all the stairs we were climbing. Then I maybe like at the end of the night, I would hit the elevator. Um, and as far as protein, that wasn't a problem. I would have, they have a, a cabanas, which is a buffet and they have a sit down restaurant, um, open every day. So you have a choice or you could do room service. We never did room service. Um, we either did cabanas or the restaurant. I usually had, would order some type of egg breakfast um, and forego the, all the pastries that they would try to put on your plate. Um, no Mickey waffles, no um, pancakes, <laughs> um, all that French toast, all that was available. I just did not eat it because I didn't want my stomach to hurt. I didn't want to be sick. Um, I would just have eggs and fresh fruit for breakfast and then for lunch, um, we either, I eat like an, uh, an unbunned chicken breast sandwich with no bun, with all the lettuce, tomatoes, all that stuff. Um, or I would have uh, an, uh, an unbunned burger. I had a burger one time. Um, but most of the time we went to Cabana's, which is the buffet, and every day they had stone crab, which I love and it's very expensive so I had stone crab and I had um, peel and eat shrimp so I would eat that till I had enough and um, so that was my lunch every day for the most part every a couple times we ate in a restaurant and then for dinner I ate with my family there was 12 of us in our group and that was uh, sailing together and um, I would just make the best choice for me and eat what I wanted and left everything else on the plate and offered it to anybody else at the table that wanted more. <laughs> um, so most of the time, nobody really wanted it. Um, but the food was delicious. Like I said, I lost four and a half pounds. I went snorkeling, that was a blast. Uh, went shopping, uh, snorkeling in Cozumel on a catamaran. And then we see, Grand Cayman, we went, walked the t this, the downtown area, or the dock area, I should say, the main area, when you get off the ship, all the stores. So walked up, up and down the store, went up and down the street, shopped in all the stores. Um, my husband bought me this beautiful ring um, because my wedding ring does no longer fits. And so I just got this little Tanzanite ring with white sapphires, which I'm in love with. And then we're gonna resize my wedding ring when I get down to gold weight. So, um, and then went to Jamaica, went on a tour of a plantation that was established in 1450s, around there. It was a beautiful plantation home. Got to see the grounds. Um, got to try an citrus that grows on in Jamaica called a ungly orange which was a cross between a grapefruit and a tangerine um let's see what else would we do and we went back on the ship went and did a little shopping before we got back on the ship um and then we went to castaway well we had thanksgiving was at sea um i wasn't really thrilled about thanksgiving dinner because it was very it wasn't like an old fashioned American turkey dinner. It was more like a turkey, a traditional turkey dinner, but done 
in a very gourmet French kind of way. There was no pumpkin pie, which I thought was a bummer because I wanted just one little bite of pumpkin pie, but I never got it. There was like a pumpkin cheesecake and it didn't look good. Um, I had some little bit of turkey, didn't like the gravy that they had poured all over it. Uh, and I had a little bit of the sweet potatoes. It was okay. It wasn't that great. <laughs> um, let's see. The next day was Castaway Key. And Castaway Key was amazing. It was paradise. Um, the photographs. I have like photographs. Every, I have a photograph. I have video on my... Um, on my phone, I have video on a GoPro and I have professional photographs on a USB stick that came from the ship and I have photographs on my husband's phone, photographs on my phone. It's like all over the place so I just need to sit down and organize it. I'm going to share them whenever I get around to that. First laundry. <laughs> Coming back from vacation is hard work sometimes. Uh, yeah, and so that's it. That's uh, what's been going on since my last video. And uh, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and you were able to count your blessings like we did. And um, Christmas is coming. Um, also, there's a lot of other holidays. Um, so I hope that your holidays are going well and you're not getting caught up in the commercial trap. Um, enjoy your family, enjoy your friends and uh till the next video i will do one is i will I, I think i'm going to do a video on the vacation just share some some of the amazing things that we did all right talk to you later bye